Hi guys, today it's how to install a custom ROM on the OnePlus One. What you need, a phone, a OnePlus One, unlock your bootloader and put a custom recovery. I choose TWRP and you need to find a custom recovery. So, I choose Paranoid Android, it's the best one. First, you need to download the G apps and the ROM itself. So, in case of the OnePlus One, it's the Bacon One. So you click, uh, you click on Bacon, and now you gotta choose which one you want. Me, I decided to choose the latest one. It's 4.6 beta one. It's the it's the latest one. So, but you can choose what ROM you want. You click download, and you wait for the download to start. You need to uh, to save it whenever you want. Right, click save. Okay, and wait for the download. So now. The download is done. I put the G apps and the uh, beacon, then the um, custom room into this into the same folder. You have two choice, okay? In order to install a ROM, so first is to download directly on the computer, but you can also directly download it from the phone. You open your browser, you click, uh, okay, exit, no thanks. You click. Paranoid, you search for Paranoid Android. You go onto the website in the same way as on the computer, you download into the same way. And the ROM will be directly, and the G apps will directly install on, uh, will directly uh, download on your phone. Uh, I think it's the easy way because download it directly from your phone will allow you not to transfer it to the phone, etc. It, it's your choice, okay? It doesn't matter really. And so uh, you download, etc. Okay, that's it. If you download it on your computer, um, uh, the ROM will be, uh, if you download the ROM directly on your phone, it will be in the download folder, okay? Don't forget it because when you need to install it, you, you need to remember when you put it. So I'm gonna connect. Uh, so don't forget to be in developer mode and to check the uh, USB debugging. Okay, don't forget that. Now you connect your phone to the computer like that. Just uh, you know, you know how it is. Okay, just uh, Papa and two mamas. And oh, sorry. Wait for it to be recognized by your computer. That's it. That's being recognized. Just after you need to drag and drop as easy as it is just copy the two zips don't forget the g apps just copy past into what folder you want you can put it into the racine or okay me i decided to put it uh into the download download directory because i don't know i'm like that you know so drag so you click right click copy Right click, past, or drag and drop, or control C, control V, whatever you want to wait. Just wait for it to be copied. Okay. So you have two choices. Okay. The main thing is to have zips. Okay. Uh, because zips allow you to be installed from the custom recovery. Okay. Don't forget where you put it because you need to browse into the custom recovery to find the, G app, the, the zip. So that's it. You copied your file onto your phone. Now it's uh, it's done. Uh, for me, from the computer, it's I have to say it doesn't matter really matter. But I decided to show you this way because showing from the the phone is uh, a bit harder. So now take your phone. I decided to unplug it from the yes from the computer. Just. Verify that it's well copied with uh, File Explorer. It's the little uh, disk. Okay. Uh, yes, I'm finding it. Uh, oh, yo, download folder and there, uh, there they are. Okay. Now reboot. Uh, no, shut down your phone. Okay. And reboot into recovery. So volume down, power button. I remember it. Remember that. Wait for the. For the vib little vibration and release the two button. Uh, I rem remember that going into custom into uh, recovery is a bit take a bit of time. It's normal, okay. 
So uh, the custom recovery, I don't know if I said, uh, it's TWRP, Team Win Recovery Project. You can also use clock model recovery, but I think with uh, Paranoid, uh, uh, I don't know if it works with clock modes, but with TWRP it's working, and it's the custom recovery uh, choose by uh, OnePlus uh, with Jim. So now, type whip, so reset to factories, so it whips all your data, but not uh, your uh, file. Now install, close to download, click on your ROM, not the GApps, the ROM, and slide, sweep to flash. Okay, that's it. Don't forget to whip, to re factory reset. You will not lose your photos and etc. But you will, uh, the, um, the apps and everything you have to install is going to be uh, okay, successful. Now get back to install, click GApps. Sweep to flash the GApps, and when the GApps were are installed, it's over, guys. Yeah, it's so easy. Sorry for the little notification noise. So wait. Yes, you notice that installing GApps take a bit of time. And now click reboot system. That's it, guys. That's all have you, you have to do. You install Paranoid Android. You can choose uh, all the ROMs that you want. Uh, it doesn't matter. So it's Vitos. If you like my videos, don't forget to subscribe, like, share, comment if you want. Don't forget to check my website, vitostech.blogspot.com. If you like us, you can do whatever. And I'll see you next for a future video, guys. Bye-bye.